We are learning new details tonight about the deadly ambush that claimed the lives of four U.S. soldiers in Niger, including a Miami Gardens native. Military officials briefing members of Congress on the status of their investigation today. Florida Senator Bill Nelson was part of that classified briefing. We got a little more details. Uh, those are all classified, and the report is going to be some 30 to 60 days before they complete it. The continuing movement or metastasizing of these terrorist groups, specifically ISIS and Al-Qaeda, uh, into other, other regions that are ungoverned, such as the Sahel. Uh, that's why we have a military presence there. Uh, that's why the French are there. Uh, and you're going to see an increasing amount of conflict uh, in this region all across that swath of Africa. And, as and Senator Nelson went on to say that Congress needs to authorize use of military force because the military is still operating under one that was declared after the September 11th attacks back in 2001. And while the investigation into the deadly ambush goes on, there are more details emerging as to just what happened. Military records show that the U.S. soldiers killed three weeks ago had little to no combat experience. Also, the Pentagon deployed elite commandos to search for one of the soldiers. Military service records released by the Pentagon show that Sergeant LaDavid Johnson and the three other mortally wounded U.S. soldiers had little to no combat experience. For Sergeant Dustin Wright, whose remains arrived at Dover Air Force Base the day after the attack, Niger was his very first overseas deployment. A Special Operations Command spokesperson telling CBS News the men had all completed pre-mission training required before such deployments. It's a dangerous business. President Trump on Wednesday said his generals approved the mission and he was just learning details. I gave them authority to do what's right so that we win. That's the authority they have. I want to win and we're going to win and we're beating ISIS very badly. The ambush was towards the end of a 24-hour mission. The patrol had just met with elders in Tongo Tongo and loaded up on fuel and water. Upon leaving, the attack began. An hour into the firefight, the patrol called for help, and French air power arrived 60 minutes later. Once the military realized Sergeant Johnson was missing, a dust one, or duty status whereabouts unknown, was declared, triggering an intense search. The commander of U.S. forces in Africa, General Thomas Worldhauser, asked the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dunford, for help, and U.S. commandos based in the region were launched. At that point, uh, knowing that we had a missing soldier, we made a decision to make sure that all of the resources, to include national assets, were available for the recovery of that operation. Some members of the House Armed Services Committee want to see the military increase its resources in Africa as a result of the deadly ambush there.